Before emergency filings made in the hours before the clock struck midnight on January 1, dealing a major blow to Obamacare, just as plans were set to go into effect. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor ordering a halt to one of the signature aspects and most controversial mandates in the Obamacare law, forcing employers to provide contraception coverage for employees as part of their health plans. Now, several religious organizations, they have already filed suit, and the Supreme Court has already agreed to hear cases this session from Hobby Lobby stores, Conestoga Wood Specialties, which filed suit against AHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, both of those. Well, last night's injunction was brought on by a request from the Catholic nun organization, Little Sisters, and now the Obama administration has until Friday to respond. Charlie Hurt is a columnist with The Washington Times, and he joins us now with more. So, Charlie, what does this latest event mean for Obamacare? Well, Heather, I think the, uh, chiefly uh, what it does is it uh, you know, gives us some forecast that 2014 probably is not going to be a whole lot better for Obamacare than 2013 was, and it's a reminder of what a disaster the, uh, the, the law has been uh, since its rollout, even since before its rollout, quite frankly. Um, but <clears throat> more importantly, I think it also reveals how deeply and how wide uh, the opposition is to certain aspects uh, of the law. And this particular uh, uh, um, mandate in the law, as you pointed out, has been uh, you know, hotly and deeply contested by a lot of Catholic groups. Uh, but it's far broader than that. And, uh, and, and we see from uh, last night's really startling uh, move by uh, Justice Sotomayor uh, that, 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 that opposition at least, um, at least, you know, and she's, you know, she's not a, a, a conservative uh, justice. Uh, she was put on the court uh, by President Obama uh, and, and is not particularly a, a big hero of Catholics or re uh, religious rights groups. Uh, on the court, uh, yet she looks at this and she sees that there's a real issue here. And I think that what we're going to uh, see going forward is uh, not only the, the, the dealing with this very complex issue, but a lot of other uh, similar issues that, that have raised concerns. And, and Charlie, before we talk about some of the other mandates that have uh, raised concern and not been dealt with, how do you expect the Obama administration will respond to this? They have until Friday. Yeah, I think that uh, th they will make the, ca the arguments that they have been making all along, uh, <clears throat> which is that, you know, that, that, that these contraception requirements are, are integral to the law uh, and, and they're integral to, to, to um, safely, uh, you know, and, and, and equitably providing health care to men and women. But it, it's not going to assuage the, the real concerns. And so the, the real, uh, what will be really interesting to see is what happens on Friday when they come back with what I would predict are going to be some pretty uh, uh, overused and uh, uh, up to now rejected, um, uh, you know, supposed compromises. So, Charlie, we have to talk about this individual mandate, also controversial to say the very least in Obamacare. Yeah. It finally takes effect on Wednesday. Do you believe that this move by Justice Sotomayor could have any influence on any type of delay maybe finally being implemented with the individual mandate? It's interesting, interesting you say that, Heather, because I, I think that it, in a lot of ways it actually does. And this is more of a political issue than it is a, a legal issue. Because, you know, Democrats on the Hill, they are very, very nervous about all of this. Uh, you, you see, uh, w with every week that goes by and there's more bad news, you see more Democrats. Uh, and, and we're not talking about, j you know, just, you know, uh, blue dog Democrats. We're talking about mainstream Democrats uh, who, who have, have been reelected comfortably in the past. Uh, to, to, to uh, you know, le left-leaning districts. Uh, they're really concerned about this because this is, this is really hitting a lot of people in all age groups, in all demographics, uh, and it's a, it's a real problem. So I, it, I would think that uh, the way out of this will be sort of a political solution of some sort where Democrats pressure the White House uh, to come up with some kind of delay or some kind of mm -hmm. uh, uh, way to, uh, you know, some sort of relief. And, and, I, and I do think that uh, Justice Sotomayor's uh, 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 decision last night will play a big impact in the political aspect yeah. of all of that. You know what else will pay, play a big impact for those Democrats? The midterm elections, so possibly <laughs> some sort of delay until after that. We'll see what happens. To be sure. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Heather.